YouTube, Blaze, and I'm here, and here we are with a new game called Hexatrains. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I did the tutorial. I uh, went through it real quick, and it was very short, easy, seemed like a cool little game. I figured, let's check it out. The devs were nice enough to send me a copy of it to show you guys to see if it was something you wanted to buy. Um, it only costs a couple bucks, I believe, over on Steam. I forget exactly the, the cost of it. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um... I said I was ready for the game, but didn't really tell me much else. Um, and I can tell you already, I'm not really knowing what I'm supposed to be doing. It, um... Oh, man, is this going to be rough. So it looks like we're just supposed to just collect resources. Um... It showed me how to start building a train. Is this Depot Zero? Smelter. So the smelters I was messing with a little bit, but I don't know if I need ore first. I'm assuming we need mines. <laughs> Ooh, I thought it was gonna help me out a little more than this. It like had me just, like, it was very straightforward, um, the tutorial, but it didn't show you all this stuff. It's a very cool little art style. Um, I guess let's go to, uh, how do I go to like the next, Station S. Wait, what? S cycle stations? Oh, I mean depot. Sorry. Let's find depot one. Let's just start there. There's depot zero. I'm sure that's probably the easiest to use. No, it doesn't really seem to care, I don't think. So I don't know if I just collect things from let's say the farm. Let's just let's just play with it. <laughs> let's just do it. Um so it looks like if I one, I can start building a track, um, and you can you can use shift and kind of click and go, like I am, or if you really wanted, you can use the arrow keys, which is pretty cool. Um, getting the angles right is still a little awkward. Oh, it's because I zoomed in so much. Oh, don't zoom out too much though. Um, but you can use the arrow keys, which, if you get good at the game, I feel like might be easier. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I gotta stop using WSA to move. Because I just lose my spot. I just depot cycle again. Uh, Alright. This is where we're building. So, getting used to the controls is a little tough. So, is that actually lined up? No. Is the train supposed to go right into the farm? It looks like it does. Yeah. And then we probably get... Oh, I did it again. You guys are going to hate me for this whole spinning around the world. Um, and then it looks like we we probably just go from here, out over here. It, it, again, it was a very easy tutorial. You can just hit back if you don't like what you did. And you get confused. You do have to... Oh, you can't go back into the place. And you can't go in the water. There's nothing wrong with going in the water. I guess let's go back one and then over. So there's a there's a route. So technically, if I click this and we do new train, um, I add a stop to go to the farm, and then I add another stop to go to the warehouse, and I tell you to depart. That should technically work. I just gotta take my hand off WSD. It's mainly the arrow keys I can see myself using. It should pick up hopefully food. And we have economy for grain. Okay. I'm not really sure what else I'm really supposed to do other than just building crazy trains on this big earth. Which is just, it's so cool, the concept of it. I don't know if you have to transfer between depots. I don't know. I don't know if warehouses fill up. I don't see a way to, like, upgrade a warehouse, for example. Um, but you can see all the trains that visit it. And there's ways you can actually veer off paths. So like say we wanted to go here, I could build a um, if I would shift. You can have a veering path that then could go off to something else, which I mean we don't need. But um, so the economy looks like it's already dropping. It doesn't look like you have money or anything. And you can tell what. Oh God. Oh, that shows like where things are. So there's tons of different resources. Huh. That's really cool. 
don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why I need to go to a city. Do you need to bring things to cities? It does. See, that's what I mean. It kind of leaves you hanging. Um, oh, that that is the help. I was say toggle help. Let's try that. No, it doesn't necessarily do anything for me. Sawmill, sawmill. I'm assuming you need lumber first. I don't know what cities gives you. It accepts food? Or is that... No, because that's like what these show. This is what it accepts. Hmm. Grain is dropping. We definitely need to get something else. I just don't know how it incorporates with cities. It didn't really teach me that. And I, I don't know if I messed something up with the tutorial and didn't look at something fully. A part of me wants to try to get this mine, although the city looks like it's in the way here and really difficult to get. I don't actually know if you could squeeze in there. Um, I kind of want to work off the same train track, but there's no real other resources other than that copper mine, which I suppose I could do, right? Like, theoretically, could we not do this? Oh, it turns, so we need to actually go back. Right back like two over uh it's hard to like think about I need to like angle up so you need to like see i need to get to this this line to come through it um then i already realized we came off a bad point and that we probably should just come off here um Like that and then it needs to get back to the warehouse which is the problem so it kind of like this this doesn't really fit very well I probably have to think of a better way to do it can I not delete these now X the clear tile so you just highlight your mouse over that's really cool and then sadly that's gonna do that but if I fix it does it instantly yeah it instantly starts up again that's really cool we see this dropping for sure um, maybe I should just do it at another section for now. Maybe that's the idea. Maybe you just grab the easy resources. Let's hop to another de depot and see what we got. We've got a bunch of mines. We have a smelter. I don't know if we have to smelt it. So many mines that I don't even know what to do. There's no warehouse, though. Meaning we're going to get crazy here. And I'm assuming this is all supposed to, like, intertwine. Because the depots, it gives them ways to cross paths. I, I have no idea what I'm going to have to do when it comes to that type of stuff. But let's get, like, a, a simple cycle... And I don't know how much of these they can technically carry. Oh, it goes this way. All right, so can we go up there? We can. Um, okay. That looks way too steep to actually do. Um, all right, so if you guys see what I'm doing, I don't know, I don't know if picking, it's kind of weird. We're going to see how this works. The tutorial, I'm going to be honest, didn't really prep me well, but that's not a bad thing. It's really, really not. Sometimes that like experimenting is the best part of a video game. So like on this, if we come in here and we... Deeper one, add train, and then add route. So it's going to go to the mine. You're then going to go to the smelter. You're then going to go. <sighs> See, that's weird. It doesn't work. Because mm. if I tell it to go to the mine, that's weird. And there's no. Ah, I don't like it. There is no money, which I find weird. I find it really. Maybe this is a hard one to do. Cause you almost need to smelt it and then you need a warehouse. So it's, I like, I literally need, where's the next warehouse? How do you do that? You can't, you can't cycle for a warehouse. W really? Hmm. Bakery. Oh, I can probably bring the grain to the bakery. So you can just kind of grab what you want. There's a warehouse right there actually. That ain't bad. Um, the only issue is I turn things so things look a little weird to us. Uh, I don't necessarily know. Oh, the, the rotating is little messy so this like moves you around the world and then you could do this like just almost spin on the same axis you're on if that makes any sense you can use rough and right click to kind of do different things um okay i know we're like 10 minutes into this and we've barely done anything and 
every second longer I play this game. I'm actually liking it more. But we're going to change the route of things. I don't know how much a train can hold. But let's assume it can do... Is this a coal mine? So what's the difference between a coal and a copper? How do smelters work? Accepts coal, accepts iron. Do I need to get coal to make it work? I don't know all this stuff. It didn't make me do that in the, the tutorial. I'll be honest. So that's a warehouse. This train's got a route for sure. Um, so it picks up this, smelts it, picks up this, drops the warehouse, I suppose. And then, we could even go get some of that, I guess. Like, why not? This is a big train. We're banking on this being actually viable. And then, it's there, and then just straight. And now... I don't remember adding a bakery, but we add... Oh, I guess I hit add. Boom, boom, boom. Add that. Add that. And then add that, and then it'll drop that off its next time around, I suppose? Is that too much for a single train? Do we upgrade trains? Do they make them longer? It doesn't look like it. So train... Does it say what it has on it? I'm not sure what the smelter specifically does. I don't really know. The tutorial only had me go to the smelter and... But we should see some research. There's copper ore. There's no coal. Oh, there is coal. Very little coal. Coal and food are similar. Oh, no, no. Coal shot up. Grain ran out. Um, hmm. I don't know what happened to our other train, but it seems like it may have, have stopped working. So these are all working well. Am I trying to balance everything? I'm going to look into more in this game for next episode, guys. This is my blind opinion on this game. Blind experience, you say, not really opinion. But, uh, blind experience. 200 what? 200 what? Um, I'll honestly look into it a little bit more for the next episode, but this is just kind of show it off and I'm really enjoying it And for some reason this died and then we re-sparked it a couple Days later, I suppose. I don't know what you call that It's working we're gathering everything the other one was up here This is as a store Do you ever want to add two trains to a track or I'm um, like to do the same route? Like, would it be beneficial? To, like, add another train to do the same exact thing? Or or no? I'm assuming we got to get through a city of some sort. The sawmill would be cool, but I don't think there would be a reason. Or, actually, a sawmill just where you get lumber, maybe? Maybe you don't actually take... Yeah. University accepts moon crystal. So you just have to look at... You have to drive through... Oh, so that's what a city is. It accepts food and goods. Goods is blue. Whatever that is but we can technically up at this one um i'm not really sure how that works if i were to for example drive a train to here and like back up here or just change the route like we can let it i guess keep working for now but uh let's do this for example Oh, that's not right. Alright, is this gonna work? Oh, just gonna round the big mountain, okay. And then, like... Do that, and then we actually go in here and we uh, 
Um, that's not the right train. Oh, we have to choose the train. So when I drove through the city, it doesn't actually do anything, right? Oh, now there's goods. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm so confused. It's driving through it, but I don't necessarily know if it's doing anything with it. Can you, like, change the order? Like that? Is Does it just get good when it drives through a city? I feel like I'm thrown in the deep end a little too hard. No, now it's actually stopping at it. So let's see what changes. But we are getting goods. Is it because we're making uh, copper ore or copper ingots, I guess you'd say? Because we're smeltering it? Uh, see, I don't know. Um, and that means like I don't know how I would connect these up. But anyways, I don't want to bring this on too long, guys. Like I said, for next episode, um, I definitely want to do at least one or two more of this. Uh, if you guys are liking this, make sure to take a second smack the like button. I will look a little more into it so I have some idea. Um, if it's drastically, like, if I, like, learn a lot and I already learned that, like, my setup is completely garbo and I could do a way better shirt, maybe I'll just start over and we'll, like, uh, you know, I'll just, I mean, I'll catch up to this point fast so I'll know what I'm doing um, if I decide to go that route. So just to keep an eye out. We may do that, but um, if you guys like this, make sure to smack the like button. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.